The New Mexico State Fair starts tomorrow already, and you can beat the rush by hopping aboard an ABQ ride shuttle. And ABQ ride public information officer Rick DeReyes joins us with all the details. Good morning, Rick. Good Welcome morning. Back. To you. Thank Happy you very back. much. Thank you for having me. I can't believe it's state fair time, and, and we want to know how is ABQ ride service to the state fair different than years past? Well, let me start by saying the, the one thing that's the same is the, uh, is the timely service that we're going to offer Good. with uh, our two rapid rides, our Route mm -hmm. 66 uh, up and down Central, and uh, two of our other routes, the 157 okay. and the... Um, the 157. I'll eventually it'll come to my mind to hear. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what, what we're going to have is uh, that service available and leaving late uh, on on some of the days on the weekends, which will really make it easy oh. to take the parking rides. However, what is different is we're going to be adding on the weekends of the fair mm -hmm. a free shuttle service oh, from awesome. right around Louisiana south to central on the southwest corner. Okay. And that'll take people right in. To the fair right near the ticket booths. And so that's a I new thing for this year. It is. Why are you what, guys doing that? Well, what happened was that uh, we uh, we found out that the state fair is taking the, um, uh, the uh, some of their parking mm -hmm. and has kind of wiped it off. They're building a casino. Oh, right. And, and right. they shut down gate nine, which used to be the way that you would get in after you got off the, the bus. Right, oh, right. Wow. In Louisiana. Okay. That makes sense. So okay. uh, ABQ Ride wanted to make sure that people were safe and getting in there mm -hmm. and didn't have to walk a half a mile, mm -hmm. especially right. during some of the peak times, which were oh, Friday, sure. Saturdays, and Sundays. So yeah. we established this free shuttle that will take mm -hmm. you, pick you up, and take you into the fair. And then it can also bring you uh, out of the fair and back to that particular stop to get the bus. And well, don't you think that one of the things that makes people maybe discouraged from going in the first place is the transportation element of it or be not having somewhere to park or whatever? So this really alleviates that, right? Don't you well, think that yeah, makes it so much better? Because there's less parking this year. Yeah. Some of the parking spaces have been, uh, been taken away. Mm -hmm. uh, people might not be able to park in there. Uh, for instance, uh, uh, parking, uh, parking fee is being added this year to the entrance. Uh, uh -huh. of the uh, of uh, your state fair entrance, but if you can't find parking, this is the best way. You can take your car, say, to the Uptown mm -hmm. Transit Center, which is near Coronado, okay. and get on a bus and drop you off at Central in Louisiana. And on a weekend, which is either September 14th through the 16th, a Friday through a, a Sunday, mm -hmm. or September 21st to September 23rd, Friday right. through Sunday, Pick up the shuttle at Central, at Louisiana, just south of Central, and it'll deliver you right there. And it operates until there, people are no longer taking it. Wow. Right. So that, that, that service is free? It is. 11 from noon to 11.30 p.m. Okay. So what if you're going at a different time or whatever? What are some of the other fares? Um, uh, well, we're, we're talking about uh, $1 fare uh, each way. Okay. Uh, uh, for our, our senior citizens, uh, 62 years and, above, and older, okay. or our mobility impaired, or kids 10 to 18, it's only 35 cents one way. Oh, wow. And kids, nine, uh, kids if we're affordable. accompanied, nine to and, and younger, we're yeah. talking about free. That's great. Less than a pack of gum. <laughs> so, will ABQ Ride have to detour for the Saturday State Fair then for the parade? Yeah, for the parade. In fact, they will have to. There will be uh, six hours from 7 to 1 p.m., 7 oh, a.m. Okay. 1 p.m. Okay. There will be a detour uh, of uh, at least five of our routes. Okay. And uh, three of the routes, the 66 and the two rapid rides, the uh -huh. U Central, will have to be detoured uh, north of the State Fair. Okay. And then we're also talking about some uh, routes like the 157, the Louisiana Montano, and also the Wyoming, the 31. Having to stop a little short of Central, they usually cross Central. Okay. So that'll be for about six hours, but we will still offer that service. Okay. Service won't be quite as heavy on those days, but it's still a detour. All right, real quick, child safety. Any concerns there as far as sending them on the shuttle? Well, we always uh, we always make sure that uh, people are accompanied. Uh, accompany anybody sure. who's on there. If you're uh, if you if you kids normally if you can't send them. Uh, about by themselves anyway, you, you mm -hmm. should be accompanying these kids. Right. Good point. In order for the kids to ride on the bus, uh, if they're nine years of age or younger, they need to they be accompanied. To yeah. Ah, uh, good okay. to know that. Yeah, very good to know that. So now, where can our viewers go for more information? Uh, www.myabqride.com. You simply go there. You can find about the detours. You can find out about the all the different. Uh, um, the things that we'll be offering, the latest departure times to all of the four park and rides. Okay. And it's on the weekend of the uh, fair, the, the two weekends, the three weekend shuttle. Perfect. Right. Rick, thank, thank you so much. much. Thank you for having me. Appreciate Very convenient it. for people. I'm glad you were here to tell us about it. And after the break, New Mexico Style Book Club features Rudy Garcia's The Closet of Discarded Dreams. Don't go away. <laughs>